Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a cooking video. Cooking video. I'm making feta pasta. And what are you making? Making grilled chicken for a salad. Okay. For my feta pasta, I've got the oven preheating for 400 degrees. And for my ingredients, I got a block of feta cheese, tomatoes, and pasta, and onion powder and garlic powder, and some vegetable oil. And then the pan to put it all in. Okay, so you want, let's chop up some, yeah, I'm gonna chop up more. Do what? Wash these first. I'm going to wash these first and I will be right back. Okay, all six of my tomatoes have been washed. For this recipe, I usually use um, cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes, but we're using, we're just going to chop them up today. Why you prefer cherry tomatoes. Yeah, that's why I prefer cherry tomatoes. Okay, first of all, what we're gonna do is we're going to open our feta. Okay, so I've somewhat opened my block of feta and it's gonna be juicy. So if yours is juicy, don't worry. It's normal. Let's see if I can get this open. Your open block of feta. And you can like drain the juice out of it if you want to, or you can leave it in. I really don't care because I don't think it makes a difference. But take a block of feta and just put it right in the middle. I'm going to take some of my chopped up tomatoes and just like put them all around my block of feta. Tomatoes because like you want it full. So oven sounds like it has just reheated. So. Make sure to cut out the middle of your tomato again. I take a couple of tomatoes, but if you're using grape tomatoes, it won't take no time at all because all you literally do is just wash them and then put them in the bowl or in the pan or whatever. Okay, this is my third tomato and I'm cutting them like, like that big, hang on, that big, and that's how full it is right now. So I think I'm going to go ahead and chop all six of my tomatoes because it's not enough. Well, maybe I'll, I'll see. That's not enough. You don't have room for your Oh yeah, that is true. I forgot about the pasta. Speaking of which, I need to put that on a boiler for a second. On a boil. So maybe four tomatoes. This is like one of my. This is like one of the only recipes I know by heart. It's like the only recipe I know by heart. Okay, I think five, no, that was three, four. Yeah, those four tomatoes. So I put four <coughs> tomatoes in my pan. This is what she's looking like. Okay, now. Okay, first of all, you need to put some oil onto your vegetable oil or olive oil or whatever you're using. You don't want to put too much. Well, it, I guess it doesn't really matter. But what you're going to do is you're going to just move it all over. And that's about it. And 
And then you're gonna take your onion powder. You don't have to do this in a particular order, but I'm doing onion and you're gonna. Don't be stingy. There's onion powder. Here's garlic powder. Again, don't be stingy. Okay, hopefully. Okay, this is pepper. And then some salt. I'm using Himalayan pink salt, which in my opinion is like the best salt ever. <laughs> done it will go in the oven now for 30 minutes yep yeah, 30 minutes you're putting this into our 400 degree oven you don't put the noodles in no you boil the noodles mm. and put her in there for 30 minutes get started on some noodles. Okay, I have filled my pot up halfway and I am turning the eye on eight. And we're gonna let that boil first. Wait, boil. Yeah. A couple of pinches of Himalayan paint salt in the water. The best salt ever. <laughs> Good. And then put the lid on her. That way she boils quicker and wait for her boil and we'll put our noodles in. But I'm using rotini, rotini noodles. They look like this. You can use any type of noodle you want, but I just use these because it's what we have. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the whole box in maybe. Because, okay. And just pour that bad boy on there. That looks good. And then I got my spoon and just stir it around a little bit. You just want to stir it around every once in a while just to make sure, like, just to get all those noodles off the bottom. Just make sure they're not burning. So, put that lid back on. And seven now. And there we go. So I just checked in on our tomatoes and feta pasta. Look at that. Look at it. Just look at it. It looks so good. It looks so good. Oh. Quick reminder guys, um, just keep an eye on your noodles. Cause like I turned my back for like a split second mm -hmm. and it almost started boiling over. Like, I could hear it, and it was about to take the lid off and boil over. Thankfully, it did not. I lifted it up, and it went back down. But I would just stand with your pot, keep an eye on it, and, you know, just, just stir it. Just keep stirring every once in a while to make sure they don't stick to the bottom of your pot. And our cheese and our tomatoes have 12 minutes to let these swell up and I will be back when this comes out of the oven and we're able to put these back in. So I've just drained the pasta and our cheese and tomatoes will be coming out in 25 seconds. So this is what our pasta is looking like right now. I didn't make ours too mushy because that's just how we like it, but you can make it however you want. It don't matter. It is all good the same way, but we made ours like not too mushy, not too tough, just right. Okay, now we are going to turn that off. Oh, oh my God, it's not so good. Okay. Look at that. Just, just. Look at that. It 
it looks so good. We're going to turn the oven off. Make sure you turn the oven off. We are going to let this cool down for a couple minutes and I'm going to grab my feta pasta fork. It's a big fork, like it is a really big fork. And see if I can video this part. Oh, you're just gonna do that and just mess around with your tomatoes a little bit. Like get all of it mixed together a little bit. If you're doing this with grape tomatoes or uh, cherry tomatoes or whatever, be careful poking the tomatoes because they will squirt at you and just coming out of the oven it will be hot so be careful okay this is this is Jasmine telling you be careful don't burn yourself okay now we are going to set that fork down prop this back up put that right there going to put our pasta in here and you're just gonna you're just gonna kinda pour it in. Perfect! That was like all oh, there's the worms. <laughs> just need a bit more. Carefully mix this all together. Kind of think of it, I don't think it's very safe doing this with one hand, so I'm gonna prop you back. Careful to not touch the dish because, again, just coming out of the oven, it will be hot. Be careful. Okay, this is smelling so good. How it looks. It looks so good. Like, get a get a close up of that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put some of this in a bowl and try it. I got my bowl. And is it raining outside? Okay, here's it in a bowl. I'm gonna get a fork to try this. Look at that bite. That is good. I forgot how good that is. 10 out of 10. Will always be 10 out of 10. Mm. Chef's kiss. Our tomatoes are perfect. Alrighty, well, that is the end of my cooking video. I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking video, and I hope your feta pasta turns out as good as it turns out for me. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.